as you know, oh, no, not. I went to a critical thinking conference here in Toulouse, and um, and I had this wonderful conversation with this guy. Um, an exception to anyway. Um, actually, had some. I actually actually had three great conversations. Four great conversations, and one of them was a very simple conversation. I said in whatever conversation we were in uh, that you can't trust your brain. And this guy, tall guy, sophisticated looking guy, about my age, um, comes over and he says, um, he says, I don't, I don't agree that we can't trust our brains. We have to learn the biases and then that allows us to identify them. And I'm grinning, I'm looking at him so smug. I'm going, uh huh, keep going. He goes, uh, to identify them and then you know make the appropriate corrections or whatever and i said and uh and who's identifying the biases and he goes i'm convinced okay okay yeah you don't know it could be another bias another bad voice you don't know um, and it's never, I've never, it's never been that easy. I've never had that conversation, um, where someone went from thinking that trusting their brain to going, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had that conversation. <laughs> if that guy's watching this, I'm, I, that was really awesome. Um, <laughs> cause you don't know. Anytime you think you're correcting for a bias, not that you ever think that you do, but let's say that you learn the biases that we've already identified. And let's say that you, uh, you catch yourself um, doing that. Then what? Then like you just go, okay, biases, stop. Working the controls, I'm taking over now me the reasonable part of the brain <laughs> no so your reactions to your biases could be biases you never know which is why the only way to have a meaningful sort of to meaningfully advance on a question is with somebody else now of course they also have a human brain but hopefully, just the fact that they're not in your body, when the bullshit comes out of your mouth, if they're smart enough, you know, then... No, I mean, a lot of bites you get by, but it's just one more... It's just one more system in place. It's just... It, I mean, I'm, I'm complicating. It's just obviously having another person means that in order for a bias to get through, then it has to sing in that moment for both people. And it very well may. But that's still an added condition that makes your discussion or your, your progress on the idea more worthwhile than if it only had to, if the mistake only had to sing in one brain. Because the mistakes are going to sing in your brain, probably. You're going to make lots of mistakes. You, no alarms are going to go off. You're going to be like, oh, everything's great. So then if you got three people, now in order for a cognitive error to be accepted, and we're also assuming that these three people are humble, as well as intelligent um, and uh, skeptical, uh, now it would have to sing in all three brains. Um, and that's how you, I mean, two heads is better than one is all I'm trying to tell you. So don't, so thinking for yourself is fucking stupid, is my point.